Let's do a demo of SMTP merge. I have an on-premise user called merge user one, and this user, first name merge, last name user one, display name is merge user one, and this is an email address, which is merge.user1 at itsense.net. In short, first name dot last name at itsense.net, right? At the moment, my UPN suffix is not matching because my on-prem AD is aus.itsense.com, not itsense.net. So default UPN suffix based on my AD domain, right? And let's say previously I have a requirement that I had to provision a cloud identity. As you can see, I have a cloud-based identity for the user called merge user one. With, a, with the username merch.user1 at itsense.net. As I said, an example in the introduction video that maybe uh, there was a time that you need to provision uh, identity in a cloud. At that time, you were not using directory synchronization. For example, at that time, you wanted to use Office 365 for Microsoft Teams or it's Skype or OneDrive only. And at that time, directory sync option was not considered. But now, as you want to do exchange online as well, uh, you want to ensure that there are no duplicates. Means if I sync merge user one account to Office 365, my merge user one account won't get this username because this username slash, you know, is already assigned to this cloud based identity. So what you want to do, you want to merge this cloud identity with this on-prem user. So they become one to avoid conflicts or duplicate users. First thing first, we need to fix this user. And remember that we need to do this before start synchronization. So I have kept this user out of my synchronization scope. Currently, I'm syncing test OU using AD Connect, and this user is currently out of it. So first thing first we need to do, we need to ensure that as per Microsoft best practice, this user UPN name matches their its prime, primary email address. So I open that accounts and you see it's not matching. So I've even the username part is not matching as well as domain part is not matching. So for the username part, I can say merge dot user one, right? And here I can choose itsense.net. For that, you need to add UPN suffix as you, are, as you know that if you have an AD domain uh, different than your routable internet domain, then what you need to do, you need to do, you need to add AD, uh, UPN suffix in Active Directory domains and trust over here. So I have added these additional uh, UPN suffix for my internet routable domains here so that I can change my user's UPN based on those routable domains. Again, keep this in mind, pre-Windows 2000, login name could be anything, doesn't matter. What we concern about, that the UPN matches primary email address. As I said earlier, this user have a mailbox on my on-prem exchange server and its email address or primary email address is merge.user1 at itsense.net, as you can see. So, uh, yeah, UPN is also now merge.user1 at itsense.net. And under general on the email address, this primary address is appearing as well, merge.user1 at itsense.net. Awesome. Once I do that, now all I had to do, I can move this user to the OU that I'm syncing with AD Connect. So as you can see now, currently I have a cloud-based identity. It means this user has been created in cloud. 
and this username uh, this user username is merge.user1 and itsense.net right if i don't change upn and i don't change primary smtp address to match each other and let's say my upn is still mu1 let's say i just change the domain part as itsense.net but user part username part is still upn username part is still mu1 so I will see another user here called mu1 at idsense.net. Even though this user will have or have an email address, right? Even though this user have an email address of merge.user1 at idsense.net, if I change this to mu1, and sync in the cloud i will see another user called mu1.itsense.net merge will not happen in order to merge on prem identity with cloud based identity to ensure that the user works with just one account which is an on prem account syncing with cloud you need to ensure that their smtp addresses and upn matches all right So that's why we change UPN to be matched exactly like primary SMTP address. And now I go to AD Connect and run the Delta Sync. And let's wait for Sync to complete. Currently, as you can see, guys, it's a cloud based identity merge user one, merge.user one, and itsense.net right so we wait for sync to finish and see what happens so i will pause the video and be back when it's sync is done and okay now merge synchronization is complete and as you can see merge user one status is changed from cloud based identity in cloud to sync from on-prem and if I open this user account properties I can see username merged user one at itsense.net right and doesn't have a mailbox of course because it's a use it's this user mailbox is still on-prem and most importantly, as you can see, its status is that it's sync from on-prem. So because of this SMTP matching, now the cloud identity get got merged with on-prem identity. And instead of having two different user accounts, we have just one user account. Keep that in mind when we do the merging the on-prem password will take precedence. So suppose if the cloud-based identity password was 123456 and uh, on-prem password was 654321, then the user current password will now become 654321. Okay, so this was a small demo for SMTP merge for solving duplicate identities.